Uh, okay, in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a contact form on the contact page. Uh, <clears throat> you'll see that we've got a kind of default install of the Hair Salon uh, version 2 theme and we've got nothing but a sample page in it. So the first thing we want to do is to go to the dashboard and we will create a new page. So select add new and let's call this, uh, not surprisingly, the contact page. Okay, the important thing about the contact page is that in the page attributes section here, um, <clears throat> and this is usually open, it's been open every time I've looked at it, but um, it, it is possible to have it closed up like that. If it is closed up like that, just give it a quick click here drop it down. Now the template that you must use is the contact us template. That's what works the magic, that's what uh, contains the styling for the contact form. Um, and you may want to just put in uh, a quick placeholder uh, contact us content uh, appears here. Let's see gosh where are we? H-E-R-E, -E, that's right. Um, and you may want to put some sort of introduction or something in there. Okay, so once you've done that, let's just publish the page. <clears throat> and then we can go and have a look at it. So view page. Okay, so you'll see that what we've got is a kind of ready-made contact us page. We've got a, a Google map in there and we've got a space on the left here and we've got our, our little bit of introduction there. Okay, so the next thing, unless you happen to be uh, fortuitously based in London, this map's going to be useless. So the next thing we need to do is to go back to the dashboard, go to theme options here, and map location. Now, let's say that uh, you are based in Chicago, Illinois. Okay, there we go. And save the changes. And again, let's just go back and have a quick look. And let's go to the contact page. Hey presto, Chicago, Illinois. Okay, now <clears throat> this works using Google Maps, so uh, you, you can just put in your location or your address or whatever it is if, if you want to uh, narrow it down, which you probably would, I suspect, unless you happen to be in the middle of this particular um, location. So next thing we need to do is to go back to the dashboard and we need to go to Plugins installed plugins. Now you'll see that what we've got is a kismet that comes installed ready with every um, with every distribution of WordPress so we'll just leave that. What we want to do is add new. Now the contact form that this theme uses is one of probably the most downloaded uh, plugin in the history of WordPress and we've done that specifically because it may be quite plain and, and, and whatnot. It may not be fancy and have all the latest gizmos, but actually it's been tried and tested over the past 10 years or whatever. So what we need to do is just put in contact form 7 and search plugins. Now what we're doing is we're going back to, on the internet, back to uh, wordpress.org here and you'll see that contact form 7 um, is, is top of the ratings here. It's got 4.5 out of 5 um, based on 600 odd you know, ratings. Now you can actually have a look at the details and you can see here, look, that it's been downloaded nearly 25 million times okay and that is exactly why we've chosen this it's it's been around 
almost since uh, since WordPress was born. Okay, so um, what we need to do is to click on Install Now, and you get a little message up here which says, you, know, you sure you want to install it? Answer yes. And down here at the bottom left, you'll see that it's uh, whirling and clanking and doing something. It's just waiting. It depends on, it's not a big plugin, but it does depend on the speed of your connection. And you get a message here which says successfully installed contact form 7. Now, what we must do now is just activate the plugin. And you'll see contact forms here. Okay, now there's a basic contact form that will satisfy most requirements. Um, and what you need to do is just copy this. If you just click, if you click once, uh, it's a bit flaky that anyway just click and drag across there and then copy it and that's the short code now go to your pages the contact page let's edit that and underneath there we really just paste the short code and then update and then we can go back and have a look at the website, the contact page, and you can see that you've got um, a contact form there which is styled um, according to the hair salon theme. Okay, so it's it's a dark um, theme, and uh, that that comes courtesy of the CSS styling which we've built into the um, contact page template and it's quite a nice form you'll find if you just try and send it you will get uh, you know messages error messages come out, coming up um, if you want to change this for instance you've got uh, your name and uh, your email address I think in your let's just refresh that uh, ref remind ourselves so you've got your name which is required, your email, a subject and your message. Now if you wanted to add some other fields then what you can do is you can go back to uh, plugins, no I'm sorry you don't do that, just go straight here, contact, contact forms um, and you can edit this form. Now, what I suggest you do strongly is um, probably, um, let's just go back there. What you really need to do is duplicate this. Okay, and then you can change this to uh, contact. form updated for example okay and if you save that now uh, you can go ahead and you can um, you can change this and edit it to your heart's content um, the uh, editing of this is, is too much to go into in a tutorial like this but certainly um, if you were to um, go back to uh, YouTube for example and uh, just Google contact form 7 setup for example you'll find uh, a wealth of information on how to set up the uh, the contact page so good luck and uh, thanks for buying the theme and thank you for listening